Oof, ladies and gents, negative review inbound. We're here to talk about Marvel's, Disney's, Alien. Ah, oh, it's so bad. This is episode. This is uh, like issue five of this brand new Marvel comic that they came out with. All guns blazing. Yeah, we're going to make this awesome Alien comic. Uh, we're we're going to take the property away from Dark Horse. We're going to give it to Marvel. Marvel's amazing. Yeah. No, um, I'm actually quite late on this. I think this was released, Jesus, when was it released? Um, 21st of last month, I think. So I am late, I am sorry. Um, they seem really staggered on when they release these, so I'm never 100% certain. I actually thought this was going to be the last one. I am mistaken. Um, and you'd be mistaken, ladies and gents, for thinking that this, this uh, looks cool and is actually in the comic. It's not. It's not in the comic. This is not what the Alpha looks like. The Alpha does not look like this. They've lied to me. False advertisement straight away. So let's just quickly recap what's gone on in this storyline. Because it's got really, it's, it's absolutely, it's gone nowhere. Gabriel Cruz is on Epsilon Station. He gets retired from Epsilon Station, goes down to Earth. He sees his brother, his son for a little bit. His son takes his key card, goes to Epsilon Station as part of some anti-fascist sort of, you know, government. Anti-fascist sort of corporation, you know, anti-capitalist, anti-fascist uh, terrorist group. <sighs> yep. Gabriel Cruz has night terrors thinking about some alien woman that looks a lot like, you know, the species. You know, the woman from the species. And he then gets roped in to go to Epsilon Station because company has realized that his security pass was stolen and he needs to go make it better he needs to secure an alien sample and that's it if he can save his son great no worries that's that's the story right the story then took a weird turn where gabriel cruz is like seasoned marine because that's what he is and he's also he was head of security on epsilon station as well uh, gave a gun to a known terrorist that he knew was a terrorist suspected was a terrorist gave a gun to her uh, and then this woman strong-armed him into doing what she wanted to do, saving his son and not getting a specimen. The Alpha came out of nowhere. Looked like the most bloody ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Let me try and get that. I could not believe what it looked like. Oh, it was so bad. It had like abs on top of its abs. It was the most ridiculous thing. And, and I just, I just couldn't believe it. I genuinely, it was the most ridiculous thing. And also, you'll be able to see what the Alpha actually looks like now. Like, look at this. Look at this big old chrome dome. I mean, that's a bit different to that, isn't it? So this thing came out of nowhere. Oh, look, mate. I've got abs on top of my abs. Look at my ripped bloody eight-pack, six-pack, ten-pack that I've got. i got a ten-pack, bruh. Terrible. Like, that is bad. Uh, and anyone thinking that this was going to end up being anything interesting, completely wrong. <sighs> completely wrong. It is revealed that the Alpha, oh good God, the Alpha, ladies and gents, was is, is just an offshoot of some bull alien, some weird like cattle ranch bull alien. That's literally all it is. They're like, oh, the Alpha. The Alpha just means that it was the first sample, it was the test sample. That Weyland Jutani then got the xenomorph DNA from. That's it. Oh my god. So lame. Um, I will say this. There was some interesting dialogue in the panel which reveals that that is what it is. And it's all about what they... Basically what they... How they sort of see and communicate and stuff like this. So look, we both know what the facehuggers... Uh, we both know that the facehuggers don't just lay eggs... When they're attached, we become part of them. While I was unconscious, I could still see the aliens. And not just the ones that killed my team. I saw the ones that made them, too. God knows how far from here. And others that didn't even exist yet. That doesn't make sense, but fine. So you, you, you literally have a premonition about aliens, are you? Fine, whatever. Um, but this is... Th these are some of the cattle alien, which makes a lot of sense. That the alpha looks kind of like that. And then they say, uh, I saw how far their reach goes, how small we are compared to them. Fine, sure. I saw a tidal wave of living nightmares exploding out of my chest, blanketing the universe. I like that. 
some cool language there. Uh, and then we get to this mysterious species woman. And it's basically, ha ha ha, yoink, she might not even be real. And I saw one that wasn't like the others. I don't know if it was real, but I know it meant something. Right, okay, fine. So, what? Why are you introducing this? Sh this bloody species character, huh? So lame. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not inter It's not intriguing. It just it comes across lazy. Anyway, this whole episode is Gabriel Cruz running away from the Alpha Alien, right? Which shanks him a little bit. That's right, shanks him a little bit, and then they end up in Harada's pod or something like that. Some some geezer's pod, and they're about to leave. The test the the cryo sleep chamber is broken. Won't be able to fix it. So Gabriel Cruz bangs on at Bishop. He's like, Bishop, please take the alien out of my son. He's had a face over on his face. Take, take the alien out of my son, please. And he's like, I don't have the equipment and he'll get infected and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, 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 please, please, please. And then he turns around uh, and says, yes, but, you know, Xenomorph taken out of uh, an alien, a, a host this early, uh, won't survive. And he's like, I don't care about my, I care about my son. And boom! Bishop gets shot on the head, and it's like, right, okay, we're left now with some weird. I, I'm trying to find the the page and the dialogue. We're left now with the woman who murdered Bishop, planning something. She stands over Bishop dead. And Gabriel Cruz kneels down to Danny Cruz, the son, and goes, "Sorry, baby, but it's almost done now." You're finally going to save the world. I'm like, and apparently the next one's called The Beginning. And I'm like, well, what a needless crappy twist. I don't care. Care about this? These characters are lame. Um, and what do you mean you're going to save the world? Save the world by doing what? You're going to get down there with an alien, and then the alien's going to get loose, basically. That's the plan. That's the An Antifa's plan. All right. Disney don't know what they're doing with Alien. They're garbage with Alien. Or should I say Marvel's garbage with Alien? Marvel is absolutely crap with, with Alien. Like, this is not compelling. I don't care about these people. I don't care about these characters. Give me some characters that I gave a shit about. I don't care that the Earth gets eaten in this in this world by an alien. I couldn't care less. Why? Why should I care? You've proven everyone to just be arseholes. Whatever. Super lame. Let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care.